welcome back to the vlog. Maybe eventually we'll stop filming bathrooms so often, but more bathrooms in this one. What? There's ever been anything meaner uncovered by snow, by a snow brush. Here's another one of those things that proves my point about rear defrost being kind of pointless in trucks. It's like the whole thing's covered in snow, but the back window has a little tiny bit of water. Okay, we're gonna see if it's froze to the ground. No, it wasn't actually that frozen. This thing digs. I got into rock. Thought that was gonna be a good donut, but the snow was kind of deep and frozen, and then I hit dug down a rock. So yeah, that didn't go so well. Looks like they've been having a good time. And yet again, with the driving and the weather. See, this is, uh, cause, well, I drove for work Thursday, so it's Thursday. Now this is Friday. So two days in a row. We. Okay, I've mentioned this thing where they claim you're not supposed to pass a plow, but like, look at what that causes. I mean, I'd rather risk it, pass the plow, and be off by myself. Cause I mean, it's like, let's say one of those semi screws up and jackknives. There was a pretty crashed car on, on, on there. Um, and then all of a sudden it's like you've got that that like half of that group is gonna be in a pile up all because the of the like the supposed don't pass the plow thing. I mean the other day when I did it it was I don't even know if I brought that up. Oh yeah I did because it was stupid because they're basically blocking the road going like 30. But yeah, like that was a little bit intense because it like splattered the windshield terribly. See and this is like that, like like I don't know, like going a, even a little bit faster to get out of those packs. If it's like four or five miles an hour, is well worth it. Um, but yeah, like like that situation right there, that, that snowplow wasn't even kicking anything up. Like, yeah, I don't know. This dog tears up. I mean, like, look at, 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 look all right biggest piece of advice i have if you decide you want one of these trucks i think it might come in level two so you might not have a choice but the uh harman kardon audio like i i mean it sounds good i think i don't know i don't, I don't use it much or i don't have it up very often um and i love the alpine premium audio that's in the uh, Jeep and car because like the subs are actually pretty awesome but I mean listen you don't want music loud enough to uh, drown that out so it's a smidge pointless I also just uh, decided to test something and I'm really surprised by the result because the auto high beams like they're so good at picking up light and like when the headlights are hitting the snow, like it brightens up the snow falling out of the sky so much. I'm a little bit surprised that isn't enough to trigger them to shut off. It's actually, considering like I've had reflections off of st like street signs and stuff, shut them off before, so. Yeah, that's kind of, kind of surprising to me because it, it's like, that is quite whited out. I've come this way a lot, and I've, I don't know, I never realized that, but there is a uh, cattle sign for like livestock crossing, which seems like a weird place, because like we're kind of like almost out of the farmland and almost back to the interstate, so like, yeah, that seems odd. 
and as if you probably you could probably tell it actually got worse see it just picked up the high beams that are over there on the interstate like that's why i'm surprised like the reflection off the snow doesn't trigger it um but yeah the uh that just like doesn't still like it got even worse like i don't know like i guess if you come here like live here for the summer and pay property taxes and like have it as a secondary residence so you don't get to vote here if you're one of those like anti-gun anti-car californians it isn't that big of a deal but yeah like like that was like no throttle <laughs> and i was drifting to amplify my my point about like out of stairs especially for warm weather definitely couldn't handle this i was just i'm on i'm obviously like i'm on a back road so it's like not as maintained but it is dirt underneath so you think that would help some um but yeah i was just going like 20 like a little over 20 it was like 23 or 24 and like slid wide out into this like wide spot like not a lot but still like when it's that bad that going barely over 20 you end up like sliding quite drastically yeah i i feel like the uh anyone without snow driving experience would be in real bad shape right now the first time they hit any corner the taco bell cantina billboard outside of butte replaced a religious billboard yes go taco bell cantina if you didn't notice when I said the thing about the billboard, same thing, that little area by Ramsey. Like, I don't know if, I don't think I recorded anything there. Oh yeah, I did about the corner. Maybe I was already past the, but yeah, there was like that little like mile and a half or two section where it was snowing way harder than it is now, like almost back to view now. Okay, now I have no idea what's happening. I'm in the middle of nowhere, basically. And, uh, now the auto dimming headlights are staying dimmed. I don't know what's happening. Interesting. Unless it's picking up that glow from Butte off in the distance, but that seems far fetched. Something that's kind of interesting though is I, I there probably is a way, but I still haven't figured out how to turn the high beams on. Like, like there's automatic high beams, low beams, and no other option. It seems like there's probably a setting because. When I'm in this, I like to drive it, not sit and play with settings. As I've said before, we're nearly to 3,000 miles and I've yet to mess with any major settings. Except for like, obviously like stuff you need to drive, like the seat, where the seat is and such. Okay, just out of curiosity, I wanted to do something here because for some backstory, this little section right here, we kind of hauled ass up at once in the Explorer because my friend showed up. We were coming back from Opera this way that was hilarious like it, I, I felt like I wasn't even hitting bumps and that thing like on one of them like that might have been the beginning of the end with the transmission or transfer case or whatever because it's like I hit one of the bumps kind of hard and all of a sudden like a couple of like the service engine light came on and like the analog brake system light started like blinking it was like not like like flickering I guess is the correct term um yeah that's <laughs> I don't know if it shows more of like that thing's lack of capability or this thing's having of capability. I would also like to say thank you to Montana Tech. This awesome school and campus. It's part of the reason I have this truck. There's a little bit more showing how long it's been since it was driven because there, right there, and there are the icicles that were coming off of right there. And there is where the tire was. Should we uh, do it? Should uh, we park uh, there? I, I, can't, I, I can't bring myself to do it. As much of a, like, as much as Teslas are douchey, and then I mean, like, clearly nobody's using it. Like, what, one of them at one the end? Of them, yeah. I still can't bring myself to do it. Oh yeah, although if like I knew for a fact, I saw one in uh, Tesla and Helena, that the plate said no CO2. If I knew that person was coming,
to try to use one of them. I would figure out a way to block all of them. Did you block about that? No. I was too annoyed. Okay, I don't know why we end up vlogging bathroom so much, but that's a fucking festive sink. And then a very festive door. Pretty normal, uh, wall. Oh, I zoomed in. Mm -hmm. But then a interesting shaped urinal. Mine's digging out the windshield wipers, and there's just like chunks of ice. I know I made a backhanded comment about uh, doing too much bathrooms, but it's a dope mirror and there's a table. So you're not having to like do some work with your drink when you're peeing in a bar bathroom. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.